Hello folks of Facebook and YouTube, it's the Silva here speaking and I thought this time I'd actually speak for once. All the other videos I've done I only use text because I kind of hate my voice, sort of. But this time I thought, why not? You need to hear my voice sometime, especially since I'm planning on doing a um, tutorial where I'll just edit and I'll speak and tell you what's going on and everything I think I I could just practice so two people over at Facebook asked me to show them how to color grayscale like this one right here to be honest I just learned like three days ago how to do this so I'm not an expert on it I really just follow the tutorial I found on DeviantArt I will link it in the description as well as this great skill right here I'll link it too so you can just read that tutorial and use this great skill to practice on basically like I did it's not the first great skill I ever did but it's not really easy to do because well it's easy to do basically it's not anything complicated poses or anything it's just a trotting horse so, coloring grayscale. Well, the first thing you want to do is make a background. This was transparent in the beginning, like this. So I just added a background and put a color in, nothing special. Just and your color. I usually use this pink here or this green here, because they're pretty neutral and they won't disturb the colors too much. But for this one we'll use the pink. I think this is a girl and she needs her pink. So what you do is just you go to colors over here. I really don't know how to do this in Photoshop by the way, I just know GIMP. So you go to colors and you go to colorize. You can choose any wacky color you want. You can go blue, you can go purple, you can go red. Any color really. I'm just going to do a basic brown because it's the easiest color to do so I just slide it to 13 on the hue so we get this kind of brownie color then I'm going to play around with the saturation it's how well you see the color you can see it's actually an orange and just lower it and I'll play with the lightness too how light I want it to be and all that so I'm just going to pick a color I like and yeah that's 13, 39, minus 36 sounds good now this could be named done but it's just one simple color and that's really not the most gorgeous color ever we want some lighter spots, spots and we want some darker spots and just variation in the coat so what I like to do is take this selection tool first of all, pre-select tool, it's awesome, I love it. And then just go to add the current selection. Then you have to go to feather edges and I'm just going to do 50 because I want to do a larger area and I want it to blend very nicely. So I'm just going to start, I usually like to start with the darker areas because then I can figure out where I want the lighting to be. But this one I think I want the light to come from here and hit right here. So we're just going to take our select tool and just go around like this. Select our areas that are usually darker when you have the light coming from the direction that you choose. You have to remember to always use the direction of the light because people will notice if you don't and it's going to be wacky and it's going to be weird and nobody's going to like it well they probably would but it's easy to just remember where you want the lighting to be and go from there there we go I'm choosing the more darker spots on this horse and I'm just going to go to colors not colorized this time I'm going to go to hue and saturation and here I'm just going to play around the lightness I'm going to lower the lightness you can see it's getting darker 
I don't want it too dark though because we still want it to blend pretty nicely. We can play around the saturation too. It's just how much color there is in the coat. I'm just going to actually increase it a little bit just by three. And then we're gonna hit OK. Now I'm just going to hit Control Shift and A. And you can see it's a little bit darker in some areas here. Not really prominent, but we'll build on that. And I'm just going to go here and select these areas here that are usually more of the lighter side. Remember where you have your light and just go around like this on the lighter areas, selecting them however you want. You don't have to be too picky with any fancy borders or anything, because horses aren't usually straight lines and everything. Come on, work. Thank you. And this time we're going to lighten, because this is where the light hits, so you want it to be a bit brighter. It's usually, it's usually easier to do darker than lighter, because the light is like, I've only done 11 here, and it's already really showing. See, if you click away the preview, you can see it's quite a difference because it's lighter and lighter is easier to do. So I'm just going to increase the color a little bit and there we go. And you can see it's even brighter. And then you just build on. You want this to be a little bit darker maybe. Then you just go around here, select again again and again and again and just keep doing this until you're satisfied with how you think it looks and yeah just go around and play however you want with the horse it doesn't really matter what does matter is the muscle and the legs this is a brown horse which is going to have darker muscle and darker legs usually black because if it doesn't have a silver gene then they're usually black. So I'm just going to zoom in here and I'm going to increase the feathering to 80. And just go all the way over here. You can use a reference photo or anything. Anything you want to really determine how you want the horse to look. Just go to hue saturation. And I usually decrease by 36 for darker areas. 36 and 36. Like so. You can see it's a different shade right there. It's not done though. No. You can see here's the previous selection. I'm just going to go to replace currently select current selection and just do a little bit closer to the nostrils and everything. Just go there. And I'm going to Decrease by minus 36 on both the lightness and saturation again. And I'm going to repeat this until I'm at the very tip of the muscle right here. So every time I do a little bit closer, a little bit closer, it's going to be a little bit darker. Not entirely black, unless you do want that. But I like to at least keep it a little bit a little bit lighter so you can really see the outline of the lines and everything. I think that's really, really nice. Like so. And there's the muscle. Dark and lovely. You can do this around the eyes too. Just make sure that you don't overdo it. Like it's not supposed to be all the way over here. It's just going to be around the eyes. And you just do the same with the legs. I usually just select all like all the way like this and all the way around and just repeat the minus 36 minus 36 again and again until I'm around here and that's basically it you just play around the colors determine how you want them to look I'm not going to show you how to do white markings or anything that's either something you have to look up yourself or I'll have to do another video on it. I can't really have them 
too long this video as I can only have like 10 minutes on YouTube or something. I was really sure about that. So yeah, I'm just keeping, keep on repeating this. Try to make it look as natural as possible. Try to make GIMP work. Thank you. You can stop at any time. You might want them a little bit brighter the legs. You might want them a little bit darker. Just remember that if you have a wide sock or something, that that hoof is going to be a cream or lighter than the other hooves. Because that's usually how it goes for white socks and the hooves and everything. There we go. You can just keep on repeating this. Do the main in a black for this instance. An entire black just black. <laughs> and keep on building up the lightness. Smaller areas like this. And just keep building up until you're satisfied. You can have other swatches of colors like a richer brown on the neck and the stomach or a paler on the legs whatever goes for you you can even do a purple or a beige i don't really know i did a purple one that was really cool actually but anyway this is how you do it for the eyes you just select it and you do the same you just pick a color that you think matches and Build from there. I have an eye tutorial, so you can follow that, use that, do whatever you want to. But this is basically it. This is how you color a grayscale. It's really easy, not complicated at all, and it's really fast. Like I've only been going on for 12 minutes, and I could almost call this done. Of course, you have to add a main and a rider if you want to, but this is basically it. It's really easy, you can add your own shading later on, you know, do whatever you want to. And yeah, that's basically it. So, if you want more of these tutorials or any other videos, just hit the subscribe button, like this video and please do comment. Your opinion really do matter and it helps. So, thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.